Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are continuing to have a blessed day. Sometimes you have to make it a blessed day. Praise God, praise God. Um, God was actually dealing with me. This has been about maybe um, two to three days now where I've been reading certain articles. Um, okay, so the title of this one is, It's Time. God says, Time for you to mature in the things of the Lord. It is time for the body of Christ to mature. Let me tell you something. I've been walking with the Lord for 21 years, and I can tell you, has it been easy? No. Will it get easy? Probably not. But what I have noticed is this is what's happening. People, they start off good. They start off loving the Lord. You have that zeal for the Lord. You have that excitement. You have that thrill. Then all of a sudden, when the enemy starts hitting you, and he will, because once you start committing to the Lord, the enemy will test you. God will allow testing. And what happens is, that's when I notice people start giving up. They start returning back to their old ways, or they just try to, they still try to remain the same, being in the kingdom of God. Well, let me tell you something that's not going to work. When you come over into the kingdom of God, that's why the Bible says, renew your mind. If you don't renew your mind, you'll still try to act the way you act before you were saved. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so this is what's going on. You, I know it's over the years, a lot of pastors, preachers, teachers, they start wanting to quit. When I read that Bible from Genesis to Revelation, I didn't hear of one person quitting the church. One pastor, preacher, or teacher getting burnt out. One person saying, I have enough. When you do this in the flesh, of course it will wear you out. Come on, somebody. So that lets me know, what are you doing this really for? When you first come to God, if God haven't called you and you called yourself or somebody else just give you a title, then I can see you getting worn out. I can see you getting tired. I can see you getting frustrated. But when you have an authentic call on your life, God will equip you with the anointing. Hallelujah. God will show you, God will give you wisdom and discernment on how to deal with people and how to deal with the so-called stress. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So the honor is that people are walking You are not having a relationship with God. Because if you did, you wouldn't be so easily offended. Oh, come on, somebody. That lets me know. The Bible says that when you come to God, you are a new creature in Christ. What's happening is that you are not renewing your mind. You are not renewing your ways. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. What's happening is that the enemy is hitting you with everything and so you get frustrated some of you getting tired then you're backsliding I'm gonna tell you the formula the formula is just as it was in the beginning so is it now stop getting comfortable that's why some of you getting weak that's why some of you falling that's why some of you getting frustrated that's why some of you getting stressed the things that you did when you first came to God, you know, when you went to Bible study every Tuesday, Wednesday, or Saturday, you stopped doing. Oh, I go to church on Sunday. Oh, I go to church on Saturday. You must maintain what you started. And that's why a lot of people don't last. Y'all get lazy. And I'm just being honest because at one point in my life, I got lazy. I couldn't understand while I was hot, cold, hot, cold, or lukewarm. And then it hit me. I asked and I prayed. I said, God, what's going on? He said, Deanna, there's no consistency. And that's what I'm telling you. Y'all don't have no consistency. You cannot be with God one day and one moment or one week. Oh, I'm, I'm going for the Lord. I'm going to be hard for the Lord. And then the next week, uh, I'm not going to go to Bible study. I'm not going to read my word. I'm not going to fast. I'm not going to pray. This is an everyday thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is everyday I'm not bragging. That's not who I am. But let me be very transparent with you. I have to pray every day. I have to get my every day. I have to, even when we're not on fast. Do you know I not? I fasted today, and really, I'm just we're doing our classes now, so we're fasting on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I fasted today. I have to fast. 
to be honest with you, I fast every day. Yes, I do. I fast because I know what it takes. I know the calling on my life. I know the anointing on my life. So I'm not going to play with that devil because let me tell you, the devil never rests, people. He never, he never rests. That's why there's so much chaos in the world. The only people that's always taking vacations are pastors, preachers, teachers, ministers. You always want to go on a vacation. Well, I looked that up in the Bible as well, and I did a, a study on that. Nobody went on vacation. This is the new generation. Y'all want to go on vacation. And then when you go on vacation, you forget trouble because you will have fun. I'm telling you right now, that's what's we're not the body of Christ. We're not being consistent. We're not being bold. And we're not getting on our face. This is everything. You have to be consistent. I get up in the morning. I pray. I read my Bible. I fast. I pray throughout the whole day. At the end of the night, I'm reading my Bible. I'm praying. Come on, somebody. Every day. I used to try to not do it every day. And I, I saw I would get hit sometimes unexpectedly. This is what I'm saying. Have your armor on 24-7. You know why the demonic and the demons are, look like they're winning right now in this season? Because Christians have got lasty daisy. And I blame you prosperity teachers. Y'all got everybody thinking that, okay, pastors live this luxury life. Real Christians we go through it. Come on, somebody. Real Christians, we stay in warfare. Real Christians, we know we got to pray every day. We know we got to fast every day because this book is not going to get up. If you're a real Christian, you're not going to do it. The, the devil is a lie because the Bible says, greater is he in you than he that is in the world. Come on, somebody. I got to stay with my armor on. I got to stay in battle. That's why some of you are getting weak. You're not doing what you did when you first started with God. And then, God forbid, all these people on TV making it look like it's so easy. Even the, the new prophets. Come on, somebody. They have chefs. We ain't had no chefs. I still don't have a chef. Don't want no chef. I can cook my own food. I don't need five, six armor bearers. I don't need an entourage when I walk in a place. Come on, somebody. Don't y'all see what the enemy has done? Pastors are not preachers anymore. They're Hollywood preachers. You, it's just like Hollywood. Would, like you're a star that's what's happening and now you got the younger generation trying to mimic you when that's not what it's about it's about obeying God it's about being ready for every trial tribulation it's like saying prepare the word no word in the word out for somebody misleading this direction all of you things, bishops and pastors because now you got everybody wanting a reality show everybody wanting to drive a Rolls Royce they're thinking it's all about monetary gain when in truth this is about souls come on somebody this is about being strong in the Lord and the power of his might oh hallelujah that's why you got pastors that are burning themselves out. You're trying to do it in the flesh and it cannot be done. I'm telling you, hallelujah to his name. And then some of you get so offended so easily. You want to know why? Because you're not mature. Oh, come on, somebody. I ain't playing with y'all today. You're not mature in the Lord. Because whenever you are mature in the Lord, you know what you'll do? Let me tell you something. And anybody that me personally could tell you this. Before I answer people, I'll, I'll pause. And I know they, they're wondering why. Pause. I'm going to tell you why. Pause. God, tell me what to say. Tell me how to answer them. Discernment and wisdom will carry you. Come on, somebody. The anointing of God, you must do your part. You got to get in that Bible. You got to pray and you got to fast. Y'all acting like this is a Hollywood thing. Everybody want to be a doctor. Everybody want to dress all nice. I'm not saying not have nice things. I'm not saying God don't want you blessed. But y'all are missing the picture. And that's why the body of Christ don't have no power. Because y'all making it look like it's all glam. This is not all glam. This is real warfare. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Fast every day. Because I don't know who I'm going to meet in the midst of me out and about. That God may want me to pray for that person. And I want to be full of the anointing. Not that they sent Apostle Deanna. I don't want them to see me. I want them to see the Spirit of God. Come on somebody. It's time to mature. That's why we're getting hard, hard in the body of Christ. And it looks like we're not winning. Because you guys are running after 
money. You're running after fame. You're running after a name. You're running after likes on Facebook. Go call somebody. All, 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 all of y'all are doing all kind of crazy stuff on Facebook just to get noticed. Is this what has become for real? This is not about that. It's not about likes or who is the most, uh, you know, the most followers. Oh my God. Are you serious? If we don't get serious, it's going to be worse, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm going to stay real. I'm going to stay real because I love God. You see, and, and, and it goes back to foundation. What is your foundation? Because if your foundation is not found, oh God, is people, you'll come and go. If it's found on money, you'll come and go. If it's found on fame, you'll come and go. You have the strong foundation. I don't care who leave. I'm staying with God. I don't care what I don't have. I'm staying with God. I don't care who I do have. I'm staying with God. The consistency. And if you truly love God, you obey Him. He said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. I'm going to pray for the body of Christ like never before right now. I'm serious. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep fasting. Because guess what? I love you guys. And I love you guys through Christ. I don't have to know you to love you. And I'm not going to let it go out like this. And I'm going to pray that God stir up the love in other people's hearts too. That don't just want money. Don't want fame. Don't want all that. But just, I just want to serve you, God. I just want to serve you, God. I'm a servant before I'm an apostle. Come somebody. I just want to serve him. And, and to be honest with you, when you are a servant, that means you serve. A lot of people don't want to serve. They want to go straight up and, and have a, you're walking with an entourage. They, 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 you know what I'm saying. Everybody want to look famous. And it's it breaking my heart because I have such a passion for God's people. Wow. You know, so I'm going to just keep on praying. But God had this on my heart. He said, at the end of the day, they got to they gotta start maturing. Nobody can't even tell y'all nothing without y'all getting offended at them making faces and grow up and I'm saying this out of love not that I'm all that because every day I ask God keep me God keep me keep me keep my mind keep my soul keep me keep me Lord let me walk in love despite of a lot of people don't want to hear this because if it ain't prosperity you don't want to hear it if it ain't getting more likes you don't want to hear it if it ain't talking about more followers y'all don't want to hear it I'm about to Hallelujah in his name. So God bless you. And I'm and I pray that you guys stand in the gap. Let's stand in the gap for these men and women of God. Let's stand in the gap for the sinners. Let's stand in the gap for the ones that have any problem. Let's stand in the gap for the weak people. Time. Who labor? Because you see, y'all don't want to labor if it don't include money. And that was wrong. The body of Christ is so after money. And I'm not saying we don't need money, because yes, you need money to, to travel, to eat, to just live. But this is why I'm teaching my class about the tabernacles, and I'm going to tell you why. God said, in the tabernacles of Moses, and I, I studied this in Bible college, everybody was blessed. It wasn't just the preacher and the bishop. Y'all got it all wrong. Or may I say we got it all wrong, because God looked at us as the children of Israel. If everybody in your congregation is not blessed, you're in the wrong church. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. You can tell them I said it. <sighs> praise God, praise God. Is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Let's pray for each other. Let's love each other back to life. It's time. Unity is power and it brings power.